hello everyone welcome again and uh, today i'm going to show you another project which is called hospital management system and if we talk about the technology is or other projects we are using the mbc architecture to configure this project which is control um, model view control so we can you can see here the controller package and you can see the model package and here is the view part under the src folder so in the view part we are using mainly jsp and uh, css javascript and uh, other some kind of designing thing so in the model uh, as a model view we are using the separate pack package which is called the model and uh, and the controller we are using servlets the basic technology of the project is uh, uh, JSP and servlets. So, what is a backend? We are using the MySQL database to run that MySQL database to operate this MySQL database. We are using MySQL Workbench 5.6. So, uh, let me show you the database first. So, here is the database. The name of the database is Hospital MGTSS, and here is the user table, and is the role table and the patient table and the appointment table so in the user table there is a three types of user three actor of the application was first one will be the admin the second one will be the doctor and third will be the uh, receptionist and uh, next will be the user you can say and the role so doctor administration and the receptionist there is a three role so one separate table for the patients which we are going to uh, for the come for the treatment and the next will be the appointment so to manage the appointments so let's see the example i'm going to run this project so run this project to deploy this project we are using the tomcat server so i'm going to run you i'm going to run this project and show you the demo the flow of the project so then we'll talk about the other things so this will be our home page of the project you can see this is a simple home page so design on the html and jsp so when i click on the doctor so you can see right now it's already logged in so i'm gonna log out it and execute the project again so it will show you the clear thing so i'm gonna run it again so this will be our home page the login page with login page you can see the home page and the sign in page so at the very first i'm gonna log in with the admin so if you see the table which is called the user table inside the user table the admin and the role one role id one will be for the admin role id two will be for the doctors and role id three will be will be for the receptionist so at the very first i'm gonna log in with this credential which is called the admin one two three and the password three two one so you can see it is already inserted here so when i click on the sign in page you can see the uh, a profile of the admin so in the doctor section you can add a doctor so if you want as an admin you want to add a new doctor so you can add from here and if you want to see the list of existing doctors so record you can see from here so let's see an example to a doctor so now i'm going I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to add a doctor so doc one last name so dog one the last name dog and the login id you can say dog one two three password is one two three email id and the mobile number so you can insert a dummy mobile number Sender date of birth. So remember the date of birth formats will be date, month, and year. So zero one zero two nineteen ninety nine. Into the clinic joining date. So zero one. 2 2018 the qualification yes cd and the, the specialization and the address when you click on the save you can say there must be alphabet so okay 
so there is a validation so I'm gonna change this so there is some issue it must be an alpha weight so reload this page let's see the database table maybe it will update it okay you can see the data is inserted here already so there was some error according to the that, that due to the that validation part so it's working and uh, if you want to see the list of the doctor so you can click click on the doctor list you can check the new entry here you can search the doctor by the name so if I wanna enter the first name of the doctor and click on the search button you can see that you can see the filter is working properly and if you want to delete the doctor you can delete the doctor if you want to click on the new he will again redirect to on the eight new doctor so uh, if you want to delete the doctor so let's see for example i want to delete this doctor so i can select the icon and click on the delete button it will delete the doctor if you want to edit some information just click on the edit and uh, say to this ccc and you can see the data is uh, successfully updated you can check the list so in the very specific module uh, uh, you can perform all the crude operation like delete update and uh, select register insert everything so edit is also there adding is also there delete is also there when the record is reached more than 10 it will the, the button will be enabled for the next and previous section and similarly he can search the doctor by the admin can search the doctor by the email and uh, let's see the other option which is receptionist so admin can manage the receptionist also also so similar form is there some some changes only so he can add a new receptionist he can check the list of receptionist you can see he can edit the same thing he can delete the thing so for the delete you need to select a record when i click on the delete so the record is deleted if you want to add new so you can move there and add new so similarly the patient module is there so if you want to add a new patient so you can fill the form admin can fill the form and click on save and then you can check the list here right and uh, the next thing will be appointments so the main thing will be the appointment so you can check the add new appointment from here so in the appointment you need to insert the patients uh, patients uh, some patients information like first name last name doctor name mobile number appointment time disease and the address and if you want to check the list of appointments so you can change check the list similarly you can perform the multiple operation like delete new edit crude operations so this profile will be from the admin side so let's add a new receptionist because we already delete that, that receptionist so i think the receptionist data is gone from here so let's see you can see the data the receptionist data is deleted so i'm gonna add a new receptionist here so demo is demo is last and the id will be receptionist and the password will be one two three and the email will be at the gmail.com and the blood group you can say be negative something the mobile number you need to enter a mobile number mail change some digit date of birth into the age into the clinic into the joining date the qualification the cd address. when i click on the save the receptionist is saved successfully now i can view the list of the receptionist so let's see the database again and check the data is updated or not so data is updated here you can see the new entry is a receptionist with the role id 3 so this is from the admin side when i click on the logout button you can check the profile also for the admin so here is the admins profile you can edit the things and you can update the things and you can, you can perform the change password operation and finally the logout and let's see the uh, perform the sign in from the doctor side so the second actor of the application which is doctor so user id for the doctor is doctor 123 so i'm going to insert this and the password is 123 when i click on the sign in you can see some working 
so doctor can check the appointment list and and the other thing is my profile change password and the patient list and the appointment list and this will be from the doctor side so when I click on the logout so the other next thing will be the next role ID will be receptionist so I'm going to log in as a receptionist so receptionist the one two three will be the password so when I click on the save so like check the patients the spelling mistake is there so when you click on the apps add patients so receptionist can add up patients you can check the list of patients here and you can perform the similar operation like edit delete and add new and some good operations so uh, i will provide the source code also for the application uh, you can check the description box link where you get all the details about the project so you will redirect on you will get the entire detail of the project how can you get you will get the contact detail as well so you can contact to me and uh, if i will provide the source code documentation part also so if you need please contact and if you get any difficulty in configuration we'll provide the configuration facility also we will connect your system remotely using the any desk or any kind of remotely software so by the help of this software we'll configure it your machine also so we'll show you the demo complete execution demo at your own site now oh. thank you so much you can use this project in college if you like the videos and from the code one so you can subscribe the channel so for that next notification for the next project and you can share if anybody needs this kind of project for the college students so he you can share this project with them thank you so much